Many people continue to be upset about the Austin City Council voting to cut the police department's budget by one third. This decision made back in August was mainly through reorganizing some duties out from law enforcement oversight. The council's move makes Austin the first of Texas' four biggest cities to drastically cut police department funding. This has Cedar Park residents questioning what their city council has in store for their city. Reporter Reagan Hill has more on this story. Thanks, Abby. Austin's police department budget was cut by $150 million, and some people are still skeptical about the council's decision. Austin City Council member Jimmy Flanagan speaks more on how he and the council took part in this controversial decision. In Austin, in the last 10 years, the budget of the police department has nearly doubled, nearly doubled in 10 years. In that same time period, the population has grown 30%. So if your department's growing like this, but your population's growing like that, you can see the money problem. Although Flanagan and the rest of the city council support the idea of cutting the budget, Texas Governor Greg Abbott thinks otherwise. Cities must prioritize public safety. The last thing they should do is to defund law enforcement. And yet, that is exactly what the city of Austin has done. According to Flanagan, multiple cases of cadets quitting at the Austin police training program said that they experienced a very negative environment. Later on in June, a citizen task force viewed and agreed that the program's training materials were broken. This sparked ideas in the city council to stop running cadets through the program until they got the materials fixed. That ended up saving us 20 to $25 million in the next budget. And then we took that money and invested it in community health paramedics, permanent supportive housing, substance abuse, mental health, on and on and on. With only 20 to $25 million being used, there was another $120 million that could be distributed into different departments. So we identified a bunch of different areas that maybe don't have to be under the authority of the chief of police, and that total up to 120, 125 million. So where the, the, the hard part has been is that it's been all added up together, and that's where 150 comes out. Looking at this graph from the city of Austin financial office, the police budget has been increasing higher and higher within the last 10 years. That's where you get into things of like fiscal responsibility and how much do you raise taxes and all of that, because police departments in every city are the largest department. And in Austin, it's nearly half, nearly half of all of the taxes we collect are spent on policing. Even after the Austin City Council voted unanimously in favor, Cedar Park did not follow in their footsteps. Cedar Park's current police budget is 16.7 million dollars and the proposed new budget for police is 17.2 million. That's right. Rather than take money away from the police, Cedar Park plans to add about half a million dollars into the new 2021 budget. With CPHS News, I'm Reagan Hill.